What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my eyebrow routine slash eyebrow tutorial. Um, just keep in mind that the products that I use and the technique that I use is just what I like to do and you guys totally do not have to do or use the same thing that I use or do. Seems kind of confusing. Um, but yeah, let me tell you guys what products I use and then I will get into the tutorial. So to fill in my eyebrows and to achieve a fleeky brow, I just am using these three products today. I am using the NYX Eyebrow Shaper, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. Ooh, dark brown. And the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Espresso. These three products are like my holy grail brow products. I use these as often as possible. Um, I really, really like this eyebrow shaper. It's really good at, you know, keeping your eyebrows in place. It's literally a glue stick for your eyebrows. And this brow is by Anastasia Beverly Hills is like my go-to. I love traveling with this. It's so slim. It's it's just it's amazing. And this is my favorite brow mascara. I really like the formula of this because it keeps my eyebrow hairs together and where they should be and it has the perfect pigmentation to the formula as well. So, these are the three products that I'm going to be using today. Um so yeah, I have nothing else to say, so let's get into the tutorial. So the number one question that I always get asked about my eyebrows is how do I maintain them? And to be completely honest, you guys, I, I don't do anything to maintain my eyebrows. I don't tweeze them, I don't wax them, I don't get them threaded, I don't cut them with scissors, trim them, or anything. Um, growing up, I've always had... Um, this shape to my eyebrows and I don't really grow a lot of hair around my eyebrows so I don't you know get them done or anything I don't really have to maintain them this is just the way they grow and this is just the shape that I was blessed with from the man upstairs so I don't really have to do anything to really maintain them. However, I do have very thin and sparse brows, so that is why I like to fill in my eyebrows. So, when I first begin my eyebrows, I just like to brush them out with this spoolie that is at the end of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So, I just like to brush them out. And when I fill in my eyebrows, I don't really try to manipulate the shape or anything. I like to just go along with the shape that my brows are already in. So I don't really, you know, make one more arched to match the other or I don't make them... I don't try and make them look similar. That's what I'm trying to say. So um, I just fill them in the way that they are and hope for the best. So after I brush them out, I like to go in with my NYX eyebrow shaper and it's just this little baby guy right here. And you can find this at Ulta, Target, and NYX.com. I will leave um, one or all of those websites down below along with the product name. But I just like to kind of brush this product through my eyebrows and what this does for my eyebrows is that, that it holds my eyebrow hairs in place and it's it's just really glue for your eyebrows <laughs> so I really like this product and then once I'm done applying that to both my eyebrows I go back in with my spoolie that is at the end of Anastasia Beverly Hills' brow wiz and just comb out that product just so that it is evenly distributed through both brows. So now I'm going to fill them in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz. This is really the star of this show. Um, this is such a good product 
if you guys have sparse brows and you really want to fill them in, I really do recommend this product. It is really, really good. I believe it's about $20 to $23. Um, I'm not too sure, but I will leave Anastasia Beverly Hills and Ulta.com and I'll try and put Sephora and stuff so you guys can find this directly. The shade that I use is dark brown. So I literally just get a little bit of that product out. And when I start to fill in my brows, like I said, I don't try to manipulate the shape or anything. I just like to keep it in the shape that it is. That's really my best advice to give you all um, when filling in your eyebrows. I just think it makes it easier. Just use the eyebrow shape that you are given. And it it's, it's really simple when you just follow your own eyebrows rather than trying to get a nice, thick eyebrow, if you catch my drift. So... When I fill in my eyebrows, I like to start at the front of the eyebrow and just lightly fill it in. If you don't know where you should start your eyebrow or the arch or the tail of your eyebrow, you just simply place the pencil or a makeup brush at your nostril and don't like press into your nostril, this just lightly place it on your nostril and that's where the start of your eyebrow should be and then go at an angle across your pupil and that's where your arch should be and then go all the way down to where your eye ends and that's where your tail should be. Um, I really like to use that technique just so my eyebrows don't look too long or too short. Um, I think that's a really neat trick and I really do recommend that to everyone who asks me you know how do you get that perfect shape or you know how do you know just follow that guideline and you should be good. So, I just like to start at the beginning and very lightly start filling in my eyebrows. And I like to start at the bottom rather than the top. When you start at the top, for me, I feel like my eyebrows look a little bit too harsh. So, I just like to start at the bottom and then work my way back to the tail and then whatever... It doesn't look right to me on top, I'll go back in and fill that in very lightly. So just start at the bottom and very, very lightly. Use small strokes. And then go and fill in under the brow where your arch is. And then end where your tail should be. So that is it kind of filled in at the bottom and then I really like to work where my arch is just because I really don't have any hair where both my arches are on top. And then just bring that down. Oh, look at that guy. He's just chilling up there. So, that is typically where I like to stop. And then I will go back in with the opposite side of the brow whiz and just brush upwards. And I like to brush upwards because it pushes the product up where I didn't really fill in the brow. Now once I am satisfied with the way it looks after I brush it out, I will not go back in and fill it in more just because I, when I get like brow happy, I tend to just mess it all up. So I will leave it the way it is after I brush the product throughout my brow. So the next step is to set the eyebrow just so that the product and the hairs stay in place. I'm going to be using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Espresso. And I really do like this product. I was using the Benefits Gimme Brow for a while, but I did not like the smell of that product. It just, it, ugh, my gosh. After a while, it would make my stomach, like, turn. So I did switch to this product. So just very lightly brush that through the eyebrow. But 
now that this eyebrow is done, I'm going to go off camera and film this eyebrow, and I'll be right back. But that completes my eyebrow routine, eyebrow tutorial. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you guys want to see more tutorials. Um, if you guys have any product recommendations that I should try for my eyebrows, please leave those down below. I am always willing to do, to do? No. To use different products. Um, yeah. So, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.